Okay, here I am set up to do uh, convert uh, 223 brass to uh, 6.5 PCC. I have the Dillon uh, RT1200 trimmer and I have a modified 223 die. Basically what I did is I took the die and uh, put it in my drill press with a carbide um, bit. I had to recess the hole inside the die so I could uh, trim the brass shorter because when we trim it we trim the brass neck down to sew and then we neck it up with the uh, 6.5 PCC die which expands the neck up and, uh, and uh, forms the rest of the case. So we're going to show you how quick and easy this whole operation works. I do have the uh, CH4D custom, uh, custom die, trim die being made for this caliber and my 7.6240 just so I don't have to use my modified dies and so I can use this to trim them after I fired them. This basically is just for uh, getting the cases ready to go. Um, I have to trim by hand after each firing because uh, the 223 die, of course, the hole will be too small to uh, work for the 6.5 millimeter um, projectiles. So, uh, the stations, one is, one is blank, the uh, trimmer is in two. Um, I removed the primer feed tube because it's in the way and you're not going to use it when you're uh, just doing uh, making cases and brass prep. Three is blank. I've got the CH4D in four and then five is blank. With the trimmer you're always going to have to have station one, uh, the station on each side of the trimmer um, empty because uh, there's just not enough room. But we only need two, two things on here. The Dillon does a pretty good job of cutting the cases. I, I like running, even if I'm doing 223, I run a die after the trimmer which ends up taking the um, burr, anything that's burr or left on the cases gets taken out with the uh, the sizing die and then by the time you run it through the uh, stainless steel media tumbler you end up not having to chamfer or deburr the cases so here we go a little noisy but I can live with it <laughs> Six, four, five. So as you can see, I can process and crank out the brass just by pulling the handle, nothing to it. Makes it a quick and easy job to uh, get the brass converted. The uh, finished product
and then you have your you start out now the PCC the necks are short and you do have just a tad bit of problem with neck tension that's why uh, it's the only round I crimp um, because you can uh, have issues with uh, when the bolt closes you can the bullets uh, moving out towards the lands and uh, so I have a, a custom Lee crimp die for that since I started using that I have zero issues with the uh, with the bullets moving and my accuracy is uh, right now I'm shooting 120 hollow point uh, Sierra hollow point bow tail match bullets at 2400 feet per second and they're shooting at 200 yards of 1.2 inch group and the uh, 85 grain Sierras I can push them at uh, 3000 feet per second and at 100 yards I'm shooting 0.6 inch groups I haven't tried them at, a, at 200 um, at 3,000, I have a load that's running 2,900 um, with RE7, and they're pushing 2,900 feet per second. And there again, they are shooting about 1.3 inch groups at uh, 200, but I'm nowhere near done uh, fine tuning. So, hope you enjoyed this, and uh, have fun.